Bedside nurses, of course, are busy caring for patients in the midst of highly complex work and environments. Yet, they are absolutely key to maximizing evidence-based outcomes and enhancing care. As you think about how best to engage nurses, my first recommendation is to ask them. But be aware of how much you are asking of them. Over and over, frontline nurses say they value evidence-based practice. They, of course, want good outcomes for their patients. But the biggest challenge for all of them is time. Managers are faced with the same challenge and are accountable for the hours that nurses spend, spend with patients. As managers make difficult decisions in the face of doing more with less, if they pull professional nurses away from patients, away from where the nursing work happens, to do non-nursing work, they cannot expect that nursing care will improve. Engaging nurses in the process of evidence-based practice and improving care has big payoffs. Here's some recommendations. First of all, provide incentives through the clinical ladder. Incorporate involvement in evidence implementation and the mentoring of others in the upper levels of merit. Use your shared governance councils led by staff, supported by your organiza organizational structure and culture to create a learning healthcare system. Leaders influence organizational culture through expectations, norms, artifacts, etc. So create a culture of evaluation where collecting data is a seamless system. An expectation, but make it efficient so that we can exploit the electronic record and that huge investment. Models of evidence implementation indicate that expert facilitation is key to success. These facilitators need to be expert in finding, assessing, and contextualizing all sources of evidence, whether that's the best available evidence from research or local data. They understand and influence the context through leadership, through evaluation practices and as brokers of the organizational culture and as brokers of knowledge. They then determine the best way to facilitate evidence implementation. Clinical nurse specialists and other advanced practice nurses who have been appropriately prepared for this work are absolutely well suited for this role. Use the right tools for the job provided at the point of care. All nurses need to have access to web-based information sources and the tools need to become smarter. Some staff nurses should be engaged in data gathering. Some of them, perhaps not all of them. But all nurses need to be able to assess and understand the critical process and outcome measurements. Feedback should be targeted, presented in a graphical and easy to understand way. Infographics, for example, are a good way to make the um, outcome results very understandable and relevant. And so this work needs to be right at the heart of what nurses are doing and what they care about. Staff nurses have incredibly creative and solution focused ideas when asked on how to solve problems. They need to be engaged in the action planning. Leaders need to understand what the complexity of work looks like and that nursing work is adaptive. This is a seven hour afternoon shift of a very typical work day. These data were collected by Dr. Emily Patterson. She is a human factor scientist in collaboration with Dr. Pat Ebright from the Indiana University School of Nursing and I thank them for this slide. They were trying to understand the complexity of nurse work. She documented everything she saw. She followed a nurse around for these hours, observed them, made marks on the timeline of what they were doing. But of course, this does not reflect the unobservable work, the cognitive work that is happening at the same time. So I think this picture really illustrates how complex the work is what it looks like and we need to bear that in mind when we're asking nurses to do more.